Good morning. Um, out here in my garage, I'm testing another motor controller that I have. This one is a Curtis clone. It is a 120 volt down to 72 volt, 500 amp instead of 400 amp, which is the Curtis. Um, just wanted to show you that this thing, this motor controller works and works well. Um, I've had it running on another test bed of mine a um, long time ago and it's a non-programmable controller but it does work just like the Curtis it's non-programmable controller and um, it is what it is there's um, 72 volts up to 120 uh, that's nominal voltage so um, you're good right now I'm running 112 volts through this thing and I've got it hooked up to a uh, Warp 9 motor right here, and um, it's a net gain motors incorporated, um, serial number 30, serial number 30, that's pretty cool, an early, an early version, um, I have two of them, and they're a matching set, so um, I'm going to show the motor controller working. I've got everything all hooked up. It's very basic stuff. This type of motor controller needs to have a pre-charge. So make sure you have a pre-charge across your contactor. So uh, before you open your contactor, make sure your charger's pre-charged first. Where the synchromotive has got a built-in pre-charge, this one does not. So I want to show the motor running. And it's just a standard PB6 and in, uh, your standard Curtis um, wiring setup would work just fine. This one does not have plug braking. Um, it is uh, strictly just a, a DC series motor controller um, with no plug braking capabilities. And you wouldn't be using plug braking on a car anyway. So everything's good. You'll see the motor spin up here real quick. See, nice, nice, easy. Imagine what two of these nine inch motors together could do. That's how they were connected when they were in, a, in the vehicle that they were in. So anyway, this is what I have for you. This is a 500 amp instead of 400 amp. I'm gonna send it instead of the Curtis. Um, I think it would be a better fit for you and get you going. And I've got the synchromotive stuff uh, putting in the box for you. Hopefully you can do something with it. Um, I'm very doubtful, but uh, um, if you get it, awesome, super awesome. And um, I think we're gonna we're gonna leave it here. And I will talk to you later. I'll let you know when I get everything shipped.